each other and share some knowledge with us. And so a Toastmaster is the platform that we can make a mistake and improve ourselves as much as possible. And yeah, thank you so much for joining the guests and guests and members and let's enjoy. Back to you, Control, Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you, uh, UB Toastmaster Club President Yamba. And now I'm, uh, as you can see, I'm uh, the Speaker's Lounge Toastmaster Club President. Mm -hmm. And I've been a club president for three years. Can you imagine how, how it's like to be club president for three years? It's so fun. And we are having a joint meeting like this today. It's not a miracle. It's the consequences that we are creating. And I thank you everyone for co-creating this interaction. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster of the day. <laughs> and that is me. And thank you, back to me. And then moving on, today's theme, as you can see, uh, already seen on the slide, the today's theme is global. And uh, as you know it, Toastmaster is international by nature, and we can enjoy the global citizenship by taking the membership of these Toastmasters. Or even you don't have to pay your uh, to Toastmaster membership fee, but it's okay. We can inclusive and everyone can enjoy this setting and we can learn from this environment and circumstances. Now that's what I brought to the theme today. And again, this is joint meeting with Mongolian club in Ulaanbaatar and the speaker's lounge club in Korea, Seoul. Now, then I'd like to call a warm-up master and we are going to enjoy some warm-up session. So warm-up master is, but, Yes, yes. <laughs> Over to you, Pat. Okay, good morning and good evening, uh, guests and fellow Toastmasters. Thank you so much, Mr. T Toastmaster Gigi. Yes, your name is Gigi. That is correct. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, my name is Pat Oyang. You can call me just Oyang. I am one of the official members of this club, which is called UB Toastmaster. Today, my role is warm, warm up master. Okay, I will share my screen. Okay, can you see my screen? Okay, thank you guys. Okay, in order to achieve our goal, we have to say a lot of successful and positive words to each other. So today I have to, I, I, I would like to share one of the section to personal growth of ourselves. So to say some kind of word affirmation. Saying that word affirmation is one of the integral part of our life. If you can say that kind of positive and warm warm words to each other. It is a, one of the good way to improve our energy and improve ourselves. So let's start some kind of good words. Let's start to begin today's in the morning. Okay, uh, I, I will call the name one by one. You can say that kind of word affirmation to each other. Be positive and kind of good situation, okay? Okay, let's start our Toastmaster, Mr. Gigi. Yes, madam. I am quickly learning English. Do, do I read out all the sentences? Here? Yeah, you have to read full of these, uh, this slide. Yes, ma'am. I am quickly learning English. I am a natural English speaker. I practice my English regularly. My mind is focused on learning English. I learn new languages. Okay, thank you so much. 
Okay, next person is Ms. Bimba, our president, Ms. Bimba. I am the architect of my life. I built its foundation and choose its contest. Contests and today I am brimming with energy and overflowing with joy. My body is healthy, my mind is brilliant, my soul is tranquil. I am superior to negative thoughts and law actions. I've been given endless talents which I begin to utilize today. I forgive those who have harmed me in my past and peacefully detach. From them, I reveal all the compassion, washes away my anger and replaces it with love. Okay, thank you so much, Ms. Bimba. Okay, our next person is Amran Din and Diamat. Okay, sorry for a moment. Yes, you pronounce my name correctly. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, yeah. it's your turn. Thank you. My brain stores English words efficiently. I memorize English words easily. I am extremely motivated to learn English. I understand English perfectly. My mind is natural. My mind is naturally relaxed when learning. Over to you, Madam. Okay. Thank you so much, Ms. Amra. Okay, next person is Ms. Ure. Hey, hello. Hello, Toastmasters, and hello. welcome guests. My name is Ure. Is it right? Yes, energy? it's your turn. Okay. Can I see? Okay. Creative energy surges through me and leads me to new and brilliant ideas. Happiness is a choice. I base my happiness on my own accomplishments and the blessings I've been given. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. My potential to succeed is infinite. I'm courageous and I stand up my, for myself. My thoughts are filled with positivity and my life is plentiful with prosperity. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sure. Okay, our next person is Ms. Tonga. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I will learn English. Language learning will be easy for me. I will become a fluent English speaker. I am developing a pa passion for English. I am finding it easier and easier to understand English. English is becoming a natural part of my mind. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, our next person is Julie Singao. All right. Good morning, everyone. I know, accept, and truth to myself. I believe in trust, have confidence in myself. I eat well, exercise regularly, and get plenty of rest to enjoy good health. I learn from my mistakes. I know I can accomplish anything I set in my mind. I forgive myself for not being perfect because I know I am human. I never give up. I am a unique and worthy, a worthy person. Thank you. Back to you. Thank you. Okay, next person is uh, Timer Deggy. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, my English is improving and improving. I will have fun learning English. I will effortlessly speak English. I will focus my mind for efficient language learning. I enjoy studying English. Speak English feels completely natural. I can learn English fast. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next person is a sorry, Nico. Uh, My mind is naturally wired for learning English. I effortlessly pick up on new English words. Others are amazed at how quickly I learn. Speaking English is just a normal part of who I am. 
I love the English language. English feels as though it's my mother tongue. Learning new languages comes naturally to me. Okay, thank you, Miss Mirak. Next person is Miss Jinji. It's your turn. Okay, thank you. Um, I'll learn English. Language learning will be easy for me. I'll become a fluent English speaker. I'm developing a passion for English. I'm finding, I'm, uh, I'm finding it easier and easier to understand English and English is becoming natural part of my mind. Thank you, over to you. Okay, thank you, Ms. Jinji. Uh, next person is Aishwazin. Okay, sorry, Aishwazin Hathwey. It's it's your. Yeah, you can always trace it. Yeah, mm. thank you. Uh, I have to read this slide, right? Yes, you have to read. Uh, with okay. your positive emotion. Okay. I know, accept, and am true to myself. I believe in, trust, and have confidence in myself. I eat well, exercise regularly and get plenty of rest to enjoy good health. I learn from my mistakes. I know I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I forgive myself for not being perfect because I know I'm human. I never give up. I'm, I am a unique and worthy person. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, our next person is Miss Mm, my seat, my seat. Hello, hi, yes. Okay, I'll read. Hello. Creative energy surges through me and leads me to new and brilliant ideas. Happiness is a choice. I base my happiness on my own accomplishments and the blessings I've been given. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. My potential to succeed is infinite. I am courageous and I stand up for myself. My thoughts are filled with, with positivity and my life is plentiful with prosperity. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Next person is Amr Tukshun. Are you there? Okay, uh, next person, Jayun Jang. Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Okay, my brain stories English word backs gently. I memorize English word easily. I am extremely motivated to learn English. I understand English perfectly. My mind is naturally relaxed when learning. Okay, thank you so much. Our guest. Hello, Mr. Jiri Santi. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. It's your. Creative energy surges through me and leads me to new and brilliant ideas. Happiness is a choice. I base my happiness on my own accomplishments and the blessings have been given. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. My potential to succeed is infinite. I'm courageous and I stand up for myself. My thoughts are filled with positivity and my life is plentiful with prosperity. Thank you for such a wonderful few sentences to speak. Okay, thank you so much. Our next person is Mr. Miss Charles. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, my brain stores English words efficiently. I memorize English words easily. I'm extremely motivated to learn English. I understand English perfectly. My mind is naturally relaxed when learning. Over to you, thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, our next person is Boy Henry. Are you there?
Mr. Boy Henry, can you hear me? Are you possible to participate this section? Okay, next person is Felix. Hi, yes, I'm here. Okay, thank you so much. You can read this word affirmation with your positive emotion. I know, accept, and am true to myself. I believe in, trust, and have confidence in myself. I eat well, exercise regularly, and get plenty of rest to enjoy good health. I learn from my mistakes. I know I can accomplish anything I set my mind to. I forgive myself for not being perfect because I know I am human. I never give up. I am a unique and worthy person. Back over to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Our next person is Josie. Josie, can you, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, you can read this. My English is improving. I will have fun learning English. I will effortlessly speak English. I will focus my mind for efficient language learning. I enjoy studying English. Speaking English feels completely natural. I can learn English fast. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, next person is SP for Adrien. Can you hear me, Adrien? Adrien. Um, yes. Okay, you can read this section. All right. Creative energy surges through me and leads me to new and brilliant ideas. Happiness is a choice. I base my happiness on my own accomplishment and the blessings I've been given. My ability to conquer my challenges is limitless. My potential to succeed is infinite. I am courageous and I stand up for myself. My thoughts are filled with positivity and my life is plentiful with, with prosperity. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I guess. Okay, Sana. Sana, are you there? Yes. Okay, good morning. Can you, you can read this section? Okay, good morning. Uh, my brain stores English words efficiently. I memorize English words easily. I'm extremely motivated to learn English. I understand English perfectly. My mind is naturally relaxed when I'm learning. I'm learning. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Are we cute, Sarna? Okay, Zugi, are you there? Sugi, can you hear me, Sugi? Okay, I guess my, the whole of our participants were the section. Okay, from my perspective, I have been using some kind of word affirmation for my last. Uh, two years, it is a, one of the best way to improve our self-confidence and to start new days with some kind of positive energy. Okay, I will share my example. Uh, I, I say, uh, I like to say this affirmation in every single day and in every single morning. Okay, every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. Everything I need is coming to me easily and effortlessly. My life is blossoming in total perfection. I have everything I need to enjoy my here and now. I'm the master of my life. Okay, thank you so much for my this warm-up section and let's let's rock our English journey. Thank you guys. Back to your control, our Mr. Toastmaster Gigi. Thank you. Warm up. Master Pet Uyan Gah. Now moving on to evaluation, uh, evaluation introduction uh, for, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now uh, I'd like to call general evaluator for introduction. General evaluator, Jin Jin, over to you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, JJ, for uh, assigning me this role. And I really want to thank you all of officers and fellow Toastmasters guests for coming uh, to this morning and 
trying to learning from each other and grow. So um, as in two semesters, it's a real great opportunity. We have a possessed the password to travel virtually all around the world and learning, uh, learning from a great, uh, beautiful mind people. And as a, I'm a Toastmaster, as a general evaluator, uh, I have to uh, assess the whole meeting process uh, which take place during the meeting. And assisting me in this role, I have a wonderful uh, tag team, which is a timer, a counter, and grammarian. So uh, let me uh, introduce uh, my uh, team, my themes. Madam Timer, Deggy, would you okay, please hello. introduce your role? Okay, hello again. Yeah, my today's role is Timer. Yeah, my role is to help the speakers practice expressing their thought within a specific time. And during the meeting, I will be responsible for keeping track of your time. Okay, let me introduce specifically. And for prepared speakers, I will show the green card at the five minutes. And at the six minutes, I will show the yellow card. And then lastly, uh, at the seventh minute, I will show you the green and yellow card, the red card, sorry. And for um, table topic speakers, you have to speak within uh, two minutes and at the uh, first one minute, at the first one minute, I will show the uh, green card and one minute, 30 seconds, I will show the um, yellow card. And uh, finally, red card will show you at the second minutes, two minutes, right? And also uh, evaluators have to be measured the time. Uh, for evaluators, uh, at the two minutes, I will show you the green card. At the two minutes and 30 seconds, I will show you yellow card and red card will show you at the three minutes. Yeah, and after the every uh, sections, I will report my time. I will, yeah, I report, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Diggy, for, uh, ex uh, for your comprehensive explanation. Now, uh, let me invite today's our counter, Amran. Uh, no, our counter, Nicole, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nicole, are you there? Yes, thank you, Madam General Evaluator. The purpose of an R counter is to tabulate and highlight a speaker's speech crutches, such as R's, ums, duplicated or too often spoken words. For example, the, the you know, you see, okay, la, etc., that do not have any meaning in the speech. Back to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your uh, profound explanation. Now, let me invite today's grammarian, Mr. Amran, on the screen. Thank you. My role as the grammarian is to help everyone improve the use of the English language. I shall highlight any incomplete sentences, incorrect grammar, and mispronunciations and propose their correctness. I shall also highlight the notable quotes of phrases. I would now like to introduce the word of the, of the day. The word of the day is ubiquitous. Ubiquitous is an adjective word meaning present, appearing, or found everywhere. His ubiquitous influence was felt by all the family. Please use the word of the day, ubiquitous, in your speeches. Over to you, Madam General Evaluator. Thank you. Thank you, Amran. And uh, at the end of the meeting, we'll be come up here once again and we'll assess the whole meeting and present our report. 
Thank you. Now, uh, let me return my control to today's Toastmaster, JJ. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator Jin Jin. No further ado, I'd like to move on to first session, which will be prepared speech session. As you know it, we have four speakers, two from Ulaanbaatar uh, Club, and another two is from the Speakers Lounge Club. And first uh, speaker we have is from uh, UB Club, and she is, uh, the, the speaker is Sarnai, and she is working on presentation mastery pathway level two, effective body language. And the speech title is five to seven minutes, and her evaluator is B2. And Bichu, would you introduce her project to the audience? Yes. Wait now. The purpose of this project is for the member to deliver a speech with awareness of international, uh, intentional or unintentional body language, as well as to learn, practice, and refine how he or she uses non-verbal communications when delivering a speech. Over to you, JJ. Thank you. Thank you. Pichu. Thank now, Sanai, title show, slows me. Title slows me. Sanai, over to you. Uh, good, good morning, fellow Toastmaster and dear guests. It's my honor to present, deliver my speech. When I was young, I was slicing the meat and my aunt came to me and said, you are still doing that? Oh, you are so slow. And she said this as I did something wrong. And from that moment, I started to think, oh, being slow is a bad thing. I should fix it. And even the last summer, I experienced the feeling that I wasn't the fast enough as others expected while I was working at one place. I worked at a place where that I had to write the numbers on tons of pages. And one day my boss came to me and said, even though you are so young, you are so slow. Are, are you being lazy? At the moment, I was like, what do you mean? I'm trying, I'm doing the best as I can. Of course, after hearing this word, I try to work faster than before, but I still couldn't find the answer that why I have to be fast. When I, when I finish, can finish my work at the time, because of course, there are a lot of advantages of being fast. You can enjoy yourself doing the other things. You have more free time, but I'm the different person who likes to do things in a very slow way, in a very relaxing way, so that I can enjoy the practice. But people say, you are so slow. You are, why are you so slow? And this, this same thing happens about being introvert and being extrovert. I'm the person, I'm also sometimes become the person who is introvert, but sometimes extrovert. There is a moment that I, even the one single word get, don't get up of my mouth. And also there is a moment that I'm talking the nonstop. But when I'm trying to, stay and want to stay quiet people say you are not normally like that why are you being so quiet why don't you speak out and people even the some people say that for the quiet people it's hard to see and they don't go further inside because of character of being quiet and a lot of people say a lot of things about you intentionally or unintentionally. Some of them stay in your mind forever, but some of them may come in by one year and get up by one year by other one. What I'm trying to say is that 
Ignore the what other people say to you, whether you are the sound who is slow, fast, introvert, or extrovert, or even the someone who likes to talk more than listen, or the someone who likes to listen more than the uh, talk. And spending the, your life trying to live up others' exception and perception is really a waste of energy. It's impossible to please everyone who around me. So we should focus on what kind of person who am I or what brings me happiness. I'm the person who is often said is a slow or introvert or extrovert or the someone who likes to listen more than talk. But I'm the person who loves myself more than anyone, regardless of my personality. And I want to say that I want to uh, share the tips that helps me to let it go to perfection. The first one is most important thing is that just get to know yourself. Once you know yourself, it's more easier than anything. Just like I'm the person who is slow. Once I realize it, oh, I, there is no need to just live up the, to be the other's the perfection or to reach the other's expectation so that I can be just me who is slow. I'm not trying to say that being fast is like bad thing or good thing. It's just the, what kind of person who you are. Just accept it. Once you love yourself, being this slow or fast, it's more easier than anything. You just can be the, you can enjoy the more free thing in your life. Thank you so much for listening. Oh, really? Is it end already? Sana, is it finished? <laughs> I was so into your speech and uh, uh, I, 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 I'd like to hear more about uh, your story, but it's so ended already. I miss your speech already. Thank you, first speaker, Sanai. And now we are going to have one minute of silence for the audience to give uh, chat to first speaker Sanai, private messaging. Uh, timer, would you hint me uh, one minute? Okay. Thank yeah, you. comment time is starting. Sure. Okay, thank you guys. Time is up. Thank you. One minute is up. Now moving on to second speaker, who is Masi from the Speakers Lounge Club. And you know what? She's in Malaysia. Anyway, uh, moving on. She's working on motivational strategies pathway level one project evaluation and feedback second speech and her time is five to seven minutes and she will be evaluated by Uri. Uri. Hello Uri. Hello Uri are you there? Uri, Uri. Uri, yeah Uri. I'm sorry Uri. 
Hello, Ure. If not Ure is available, then how do we evaluate her? Maybe we proceed with the next one first, if I evaluate her. Uh, okay. Ure, Ure, hello. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> so this is kind of inverse moment that evaluator is not paying attention to the speaker. And this is, uh, <laughs> this is uh, uh, kind of uh, embarrassing. So Ure, hello. May, uh, may can I change role to Ure? Ure is here. Yeah, Ure is here. Yeah. I see her, her okay. camera is on. And can you unmute Ure? <laughs> I think she has some technical issue. She is fixing it. So please, please wait for a second, okay? Yeah, that may, it, it, yeah. We can wait, but uh, Ure, uh, I, I want Ure to pay attention to the speaker. So that's why I'm asking. Hello, Ure. Hi, hi. Yeah, now you're back. So, oh, sorry. Okay. Really so are, sorry for that. You are you are on a camera and you are speaking in a different angle. Well, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Having a two because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I have internet issue. Uh, okay. Uh, that's why I'm so. Yeah, I, I'm happy uh, happy that you are back. Okay, <laughs> so, thank you. How mm -hmm. are you going to evaluate the speaker to Masi? Over to you, Ure. Mm hmm. Okay. It's uh, as I saw her um, evaluation form, it's her second speech, right? And also uh, she, uh, she gave a speech uh, named Collective Seren Serendipity uh, uh, in uh, for the two times, right? And I'd like to, uh, I'd like to see her improvements on her uh, tone of voice and also uh, self-confidence. And uh, yeah, especially, especially also body language. And those are the, uh, those are the uh, concrete and also collective uh, things. And I'm, I'd like to see, I'd like to see, and also I'd like to evaluate uh, from, uh, from her speech, yeah. Okay, thank, thank you, Ure. And we'll listen to you at the end of the session, uh, in evaluation session. Okay. And happy to happy to have you back, Ure. Okay, thank you. Now moving on. Second speaker, Masi, collective serendipity, collective serendipity, Masi, over to you. Thank you, Toastmaster of the meeting. Hi, everyone. I'm Mashi from Malaysia. And today I would like to share my story with you entitled Collective Serendipity. Sounds fancy, isn't it? What actually is Collective Serendipity? You might wonder. For the sake of understanding the whole story, I would like to share the meaning of Serendipity. Serendipity is actually something that people always say luck. You know, luck, or I'm lucky, I found something by luck. But serendipity is something that you find without planning to find it, that you weren't expecting. And when we say collective serendipity, it actually refers to the win-win situation, whereby the goodness or the lucky thing is found not only by you alone, but also by everyone around you or anyone else who's there in the same situation. So I'd like to share with you my story entitled Collective Serendipity. And this took place in a place, in a land far, far away from Malaysia. As you know, I'm from Malaysia and you might want to give a guess where did this happen by looking at this photo. You can share in the chat to, if you want to take a guess. But for a background story, I'm from Malaysia and I'm very used in the ubiquitous culture in my country. For example, when we talk to each other, when we first meet people, we don't ask, hey, are you okay? Are you healthy today? 
No, Malaysians don't do that. Malaysians will ask, Hi, have you eaten? Doesn't matter, morning, afternoon, evening, when we meet people, the first thing we'll ask is, have you eaten? That's how we ask how you're doing. Is it good or bad? And in Malaysia, food is something that everyone relish. We even have 24-hour restaurant, you know, where you can have breakfast all day, every day. For example, when I miss my friend, I can just ring them up at 11.59 p.m. at night and ask them to go out for a roti canai, which is a breakfast food at that point of time, just because it's available to have. So, as back to the story, this story happened in India, 6,000 plus plus kilometers away from home for me. And that was four years back where I had the opportunity to work there. As someone who is a foreigner there, I need to find a house to live in. And I went house, house hunting for on a roll. I check out almost 10 houses, got rejected a lot of times just because of my different appearance and religion, you know, different culture. That's a stark difference there. But eventually, I met this kind person, Dr. Siva, as you can see in the photo. Dr. Siva is my landlord, my house owner. He was the person who embraced and accepted me to stay in his house, to rent in his house for three years. Well, I, at first, I thought, oh, he would receive, he would accept me to stay because he will get three years of hefty sum for my rent. However, little was, did I know that I'm in for a surprise. As I stay in a house called Sebra's Camelot, as you can see, it's an apartment building. Uh, that's me and my sister there with the name of the house. This place has three stories and I have neighbors staying with me. Even the road seems peaceful and calm, as you can see. So on the first floor, I had a Korean family as my neighbor. However, due to the time constraint and they move out soon after for a new work, I didn't get much time to know them, but I get to know my third floor neighbor, Mrs. Radha, very well in time. And she was the one who took care of me. Here's the serendipity part started. We were from different culture, from different background. I'm a Muslim, she's a Hindu and Brahmin as well. I eat meat, all types of meat, as, as you might have guessed, but she was a pure vegetarian. But as you can see in the photo, maybe it's not so clear, we went to eat together. Can you imagine? Of course, at a vegetarian place. She always visited and frequented my house, but of course, I couldn't manage to prepare some food for her due to my lack of cooking skills. Oh no. But she, whenever I came, whenever I went to her house, I would be greeted with feasts, such nice, delicious vegetarian food. She also had children. And I became friends with them. So whenever I'm back home tired from work, I have these kids to play with me. Even on Dipavali, Diwali, as they call it, we would like crackers together. And whenever they went to school, they would just tell me what happened in school and such. So I learned a lot from these kids as well. And not to forget, my place has a janitor, Mr. Narayanan. You can see him with the cat there. He was very fond of the cat that I'm fond of as well. And he helped me all the time to make sure I'm secure, I'm safe, I'm happy where I am in a different culture, different place, but still in the same world and on the same earth together. In 2016, a cyclone hit Chennai that was really bad. And if you are aware, if you are aware, you might have known that in Chennai, whenever the rain gets too heavy, there will be flood. In 2015, there was a bad, uh, not so nice flood. But 2016, there was a cyclone. And as you can see in the photo, that is what happened as shown in the news. For me, this is how it looked like at the front of my house. If you could remember the first photo just now, the earlier photo, it was really nice, peaceful and calm. But this happened after Cyclone Varda. I still remember at that time, I have had one week without any connection. I couldn't call my family. I don't have internet. and as you can see, the, it, hurt, it hit us really bad, but with the collective effort from everyone, despite our differences, the neighbors came out and cleared up this place. Also later on come with the municipal council. Of course, there's a lot, a large area, a large area to take care. Anyway, those are 
among the moments that proved to me epitome of collective serendipity, whereby luck happens by chance, but collective serendipity is there if you just choose to open your eyes and look at it and cherish it. In 2020, I got the sad news. Dr. Siva has passed away. I was very sad at that time, and I couldn't go to visit or anything because of the situation. Yet, I'm super grateful that I have had the chance to get to know him as well as my neighbors and other people who helped me on this journey. And last but not least, I would like to share this quote with you. Life is a journey, not a race. The world might be competing who have the highest building, tallest building, strongest people, but despite the ubiquitous cultural differences between us, we should all cherish it and enjoy life together to make this world a better place to live in. Back to you, Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Second speaker, Masi. Yeah, when I, when I was listening to your speech, I forgot I am a Toastmaster of the day. <laughs> Great speech. Now we are going to have one minute of silence for the audience to give some feedback to second speaker, Masi, by sending okay. direct messages. Okay, time is starting. Thank you, timer. Time is up. Thank you, time Thank you, Time's up. Now, moving on to the third speaker. She is, uh, who is Ugan, Tung, uh, Tungalak. I'm sorry, I mispronounced. Uh, and she's from UB Toastmaster Club. And she's working on presentation mastery pathway level two project understanding your communication styles and the time is five to seven minutes and she will be evaluated by julie hello julie how are you going to evaluate her thank you so much toastmaster of the day distinguished toastmaster jj all right it is my privilege it is an honor actually for me to evaluate tunga luck i hope that i pronounce your name correctly okay the purpose of her speech is for the member to learn about different communication styles and identify his or her primary style. And the purpose of this speech also for the member to share the impact of her style on others. You have five to seven minutes, Tungala. All the best to you. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Julie. Now, Tungala. The law of big picture, the law of big picture. Tunga Lak, over to you. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I will start my uh, topic. And um, he is uh, Jimmy Kester. Uh, he was the one of president of United States. Uh, all over the world, a lot of people love him. He has always embraced the importance of the big picture. I'm going to explain why I say it. Uh, Habitat for Humanity was officially founded by Millard and Linda Taylor in 1976. Uh, the goal of the organization, organization is uh, one, to eliminate homelessness from the world. They had found a successful formula for their goal, offer home ownership to the needed people who are able to make a house payment, uh, build low-cost housing, 
using volunteer labor involve of the future owner in the building process and create no interest loans to finance the house houses. Uh, it was a great idea and it was catching on, uh, but to reach the world as they desired, the fullers knew they would have take habitat to a whole new level. The fullers approached Carter about helping the project along. Uh, Carter said he was very interested in habitat for humanity. Uh, when Fuller decided to boldly propose a list of 15 possible roles the former president could take, hoping he would agree to one or two, uh, but Carter agreed not only one or two items on the list, he agreed to do everything on it. Uh, at first, uh, people thought Carter would just stop for the brief publicity photos, uh, uh, but uh, in reality, uh, the former president put together a work crew, uh, traveled with them via bus to the Brooklyn, New York building site, worked every day for a week, and slept a church basement along with everyone else. Uh, he was uh, 52 years old. Since then, Carter has served in similar fashion every year until now. Now he is uh, 97. Uh, years old, and uh, his dedicated service has attracted people from every walk of life to serve in similar role. At least uh, from uh, 1976 uh, until now, uh, Habitat has built more than uh, 200,000 houses sheltering for more than a million people uh, all over the world. Uh, actually, Russia, Mongolia, China, Asian countries don't know about this project uh, well, uh, but in Australia, America, Africa countries, this project is very popular. Um, uh, why this project has been persisted uh, successfully for too many years, almost for uh, 50 years? Uh, because uh, people like Carter, uh, people wanted to be part of something bigger than themselves. Uh, they understood the goal was the more important than, than role. Uh, it's love of the big picture. Uh, the main thing is uh, Habitat for Humanity is the brainchild of the fullers and its success is the result of the effort of hundreds of thousands of people from around the globe. Uh, but Jimmy Carter is the one who put it on the map and he inspired people uh, to get involved. And uh, his uh, selfless service has inspired uh, people, rich and uh, poor, uh, simple and famous, powerful and ordinary uh, to see huge goals of helping people at the last level of society by um, providing them with a decent place to live, uh, they embrace the love of the big picture. Thank you. Okay, thank you, uh, Tungala, for introducing this project. <laughs> uh, yeah, good to know something that I didn't know before. Okay, one minute of silence. Timer, please. Okay, of course, time is starting.
Okay, thank you guys, time's up. Yes, one minute's up. We have last but not least, fourth speaker, who is Azrin from Malaysia. <laughs> okay, she is working on effective communicators pathway level one project research and presenting and her time is five to seven minutes and she will be evaluated by Jargo. Hello, Jargo. Hello again. Can yes, you hear would me? You, would, you, uh, would, would you introduce how are you going to evaluate your target speaker, Azrin? <laughs> okay. um, um, it's Azrin's purpose this project is for the member to learn or review basic research methods and present a well-organized, well-researched speech on any topic. And it's Adrian's speech title is Siberian Choo Choo and speech length is five to seven minutes, five to seven minutes, which title is Siberian Choo Choo. Now it's time to listen our prepared speech. Let me kindly invite Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, Jargo. Now, Azrin, Siberian Chuchu, Siberian Chuchu, Azrin, over to you. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster of the day. Chuchu! How many of you feel excited whenever you listen to the sound of the train? At least I know I do. So what is Siberian Chuchu? It's actually the Trans-Siberian Journey, which is the world's longest journey on a single train. Since I love to travel via train, so I did some research on what is Trans-Siberian is all about. So today I'm gonna share it with you guys. All right, what is Trans-Siberian? <coughs> The Trans-Siberian is a railway, is a railway network of railways which connect the Western Russia to the Russian Far East. It is the longest railway line in the world, which is over 9,000 kilometers. So if you were to take the route from Moscow to Vladivostok or vice versa, you will cross eight different time zones. So that's how far it is. Trans-Siberian. There are three routes in the Trans-Siberian. The first one is the Trans-Russian, which is the oldest segment of the Trans-Siberian Railway. It is from Moscow to Vladivostok. And the second one, the Trans-Mongolia, is an offshoot of the Trans-Siberian Railway line which departs from Moscow and then passes Ulaanbaatar and then towards Beijing. And the third one is the Trans-Manchuria, which is another branch of the Trans-Siberian Railway departing from Moscow, splitting off from the Trans-Siberian in Chita and bypass Mongolia and also goes through Habin and then to Beijing. So since we, I mean, like, I don't have a lot of time today, I just gonna share about the Trans Mongolia. So the highlights of the route, you get to experience the girl camp in the Tarelch National Park, which is 100 kilometers away from Ulaanbaatar. And you get to enjoy and explore the Lake Baikal surrounding. All right, you might ask, what is girl camp, right? So girl camp, is the traditional Mongolian home. The word ker means home. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly since the, we have Mongolian from Ulaanbaatar today. And these days, tourists get to experience the camp, which is a kind of hotel. They do it the kind of hotel with shower and other facilities as well. They are also Mongolian traditional cuisine served in the Gur these days. And what is Lake Baikal, you may ask. So Siberia Lake Baikal is not your average lake. It is 
the deepest, the oldest in the world. And because of that, Lake Baikal is also home to more than 3,700 different species. And most of it only exists in Lake Baikal itself and not in any other part of the world. It is also known as the Galapagos of Russia. So some of the interesting notes for the route from Ulaanbaatar to Moscow. There is a town named Ekertz, which is also known as Paris of Siberia. It was once of the most important trading city between Mongolia and Russia. And the journey from Ekertz to Ekaterinburg is 56 hours and it crossed over three different time zones. And in Ekaterinburg, there is the kilometer zero, which is the Europe and Asia border. And there is another city in, to, in the route, which is called Kazan. And in Kazan, 80% of the residents of Kazan is Muslim. And there is a place called Kazan Kremlin, which is in 2000, in the year 2000, it was declared as the World Heritage Site by the UNESCO. So here, there is a mosque and also the great Orthodox church temple, which coexist together. And what is the best time to visit Russia, you may ask. So it depends. It is a four seasons country. If you want to experience the frozen magical Lake Baikal, you might want to visit during February and March. But if you are someone like me, who might not be able to stand the cold winter, you might want to prefer the May to September. So these are just the idea of how extreme or how is the weather during the, throughout the year. So if you, if you can see here, if you visit between March, sorry, February and March, you can see that the weather in Moscow, Ekaterinburg, and also in Ulaanbaatar, it can go down to negative 11 degrees. So that's how cold it is. Then, how much, you may ask. So these are just some of the information that I found. And it may cost around from Moscow to Ulaanbaatar, it will cost around $645. That is for the second class. If you prefer for a two person cabin, it will cost 1000 USD. So these are just some of the information that I have when I, that I found during my research. If in RM, Ringgit Malaysia, because I am from Malaysia, the difference between Vladivostok route, Ulaanbaatar route and Beijing route, the Ulaanbaatar route is around 6,000 Malaysian Ringgit. But I recently found a trip with, with a tourist guide whereby the 6,000 plus is just for the ground package. So the, the flight might be around 3,000 plus. So plus minus for me as a Malaysian, if I were to, to take this route, I may have to save around 10,000 ringgit Malaysia, which is estimated around 3,000 or 3,000 USD, around that. And then, that's it from me. The Trans-Siberian Express, is, I, I would like to end my speech with the quote. The Trans-Siberian Express is like a cruise across an oceanic landscape. I've done it three times. Paul Turo. I hope with my sharing, I, there might be someone who might be interested to join me with uh, on this journey on, on the Trans-Siberian Railway. And with this, I end my speech. Thank you. Back to you. Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, Azarin. Now we are going to have one minute of silence for the audience to give a, a feedback to speaker. 
timer one minute please okay you know that time has already started sure Okay, time's up. Time's up. Now moving on. Uh, may I ask timer report for the four speakers? Timer. Okay, sure. Okay, let me share my screen, Mr. Toastmaster. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, game. As you can see, we had a four prepared speakers <clears throat> yeah and for time usage uh, speaker one sarna is five minutes 25 seconds it means eligible to um, eligible to vote and speaker two messi messia right messia is seven minutes 20 three seconds, it's also eligible. And speaker, ter third speaker, Tonglok, uh, is four okay. minutes, 33 mi seconds, sorry, it's not eligible. And last speaker, Azrin, also, so sorry for inform you, it's uh, eight minutes, three seconds, it's also uh, ineligible. Okay, it's my time report for prepared speakers. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Timer. Uh, may I ask Ulaanbaatar Toastmaster Club Biamba for asking uh, agreement that what if we, I'd like to suggest that we go on with the uh, overtime speakers to make her, make them uh, eligible mm. for the voting. Mm, yeah. Do you, do you agree or not? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you for your confirmation. Then I'd like to launch a polling and then you can pick uh, best or favorite speaker for you and launching polling and vote for your favorite. First speaker was Sanai and second speaker Masi, third speaker Tungalak and fourth speaker was Azrin and and JJ cannot vote and Biamba cannot vote because we are host and co-host. <laughs> now it's up to all the audience. And I believe you are all voted. Now ending polling. Now screen capture. Now I know the result, and I believe that Biamba also know the result, right? Okay, now what we are going to do is take a group photo. Group photo, everyone. Now it's time for you to turn on your camera, and I'm going to take a snapshot. And for the time being, please, no chatting. <laughs> Everyone, uh, you, uh, turn on your camera and show your smile. And for now, for making more fun, I'd like to have some emerge picture like this. 
What about it? <laughs> no. So everyone, you are okay to turn on your camera. All right. I have, I don't think I have one. Okay, let's go with it. So first snapshot, screenshot. Give me a smile, one, two, three. Got you. Where is Piamba, by the way? She's outside. I <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, another shot. Uh, hold on, please. One more shot. And with your with the normal screenshot, uh, I'd like to have Piamba next to me. <laughs> okay. Now. Uh, give me your another smile. Uh, I don't see some people are uh, not uh, turning on their camera. Okay, putting them down. And those who are turned on the camera, then they're uh, going upward. Now, okay. Full screen. Now it's time. A uh, last shot. One, two, three. Great. Now posting it to WhatsApp, and then I'll post it to uh, the Facebook later on. Now uh, we are kind of behind time as the agenda, so we are just. I like to move on to the next session. And next session will be table topic session. And that will be led by our Ulaanbaatar Toastmaster Club president, Biamba. And Biamba is the toast, uh, table topic master. Over to you, Biamba. Biamba, we cannot hear you. Unmute. Oh. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, let me share my screen. Can you all to show my see my screen? Yes, 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 yes okay, yes. Oh, thank you. Okay, let's start and I will show the pictures and ask the questions and everyone say your name and attend this section. And who will be the first participants of table topic session? Especially from the guests. I will try. Okay, uh, good morning. Is it right? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, let's start. Okay. Do you need the preparation time? Oh, I have to talk about this one. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. My Toastmasters journey start when one of the leaders come from Jakarta to my city. <clears throat> she came with Pawa Biman with an ex Ministry of Education and brought those masters to Indonesia. And I was in a campus at that time, attending a seminar, and they invited me to join with that those masters thing. And I look, I have been an English teacher for almost 20 years. And I see that those people in the master have got more potential 
and more better way to deliver their speeches. So I said to myself, if I can become the member of the Toastmaster, I can invite all my students to be able to speak like those people. It was fantastic. From that time on, I joined the Toastmaster for 15 years and I never quit. It was a very nice journey. Every time I come to the Toastmasters meeting, I learned something. I learned to be a leader. I learned to speak better English. I learned how to deliver it in such a way that people can listen to me, that people won't leave the room. It was fantastic. Toastmasters is the best place to speak and to learn to deliver English. So I advise anybody here, please don't quit the Toastmaster. Once you are a Toastmaster, you will be Toastmasters forever. So ladies and gentlemen, my Toastmasters journey was a fantastic journey. I won't even forget it forever. Thank you very much. Back to you, Didier. Okay, thank you so much for your wonderful story. So the next question is, what, okay, what makes you happy? What makes you happy? Who will be the second? Ah, Brahma Kumar. I'm sorry, my pronunciation. <laughs> Okay. Okay, start. Can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, we can hear you. Can you hear yeah. Yes. What makes me happy is first of all seeing the sun rays every day. Mm -hmm. Every day that I wake up and I look at the sun, I remember, thank God I have one more day to live, one more day to spend time with the wonderful people around the world, one more day to give back to society. The next thing that makes me happy is the cheerful disposition of my youngest son, who is just three years old. The moment he calls, comes over and says, Appa, which means father in my mother tongue, it makes me awake and realize that there is a role in this complex and chaotic society. And then the other thing that makes me absolutely happy is meeting wonderful people across the mm -hmm. globe as I travel from club to club in different mm -hmm. countries and I realize how common we are. We go through the same hunger, thirst, mm -hmm. sufferings, but we all go through the same things and we are all alike despite our race, language, religion, and so forth. Mm -hmm. The other thing I'm happy about is that this cooperation that arose because of COVID-19. They say when there's a bad times, there's also good times. And the good times is that we have a chance to connect with people across the globe with so many different people. And I'm sometimes even amazed to see people from different countries with similar features or some names that even sound Indian. Like sometimes I come across names like Rani and that is an Indian name. How come that is name is being used in Indonesia and so on. But most importantly, what keeps me happy is the fact that every day when I wake up, I have one more day to serve. I have one more time to listen to my son, young son's a beautiful, wonderful voice with his childish pranks. And most importantly, opportunity to visit different countries and meet wonderful people like you. Back to you, Table Topic Master. Wow, thank you so much. It was great story. So there are five people who will attend this table topic session and who will be the third participants. And I will show the picture. So Steve Jobs said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Do, we, do you agree with this quote? Who will be the third participants? Okay. Mm. 
Okay, please raise, raise your hand or your say your name. So should I call the names? Maybe Beth? <laughs> Hi. Okay, Beth. Yes, uh, I don't agree with this sentence. Uh, in my case, uh, now uh, I have two children and I'm uh, a working woman. Uh, in Korea, um, a lot of uh, working mom uh, uh, waste, waste my time for my children. Uh, because in Korea, uh, education education very hard, and uh, we have um, we we have to we have to do many things. For example, pick up pick up to academy and uh, study with study with the homework of my children. So uh, I don't have my I don't have my habit, or I I don't have uh, time for me. But I love my children, and, and this time is very important to, to for my children. So uh, uh, this time is uh, not waste. I think uh, uh, 10, 10 years or twenty years, children maybe uh, doesn't doesn't uh, thank to me. But uh, I think. That this is my duty, and and uh, my children is uh, my present and God present. So I I have to do I have to do I think so. Uh, uh, sometimes sometimes I I have to waste my time for loving someone. I think so. Thank you, Madam. Okay. Thank you so much. And maybe in the future, I want to be the mom like you. <laughs> yeah, it's wonderful. And the next question is, what kind of books do you like to read? What kind of books do you like to read? Is there any bookaholic? <laughs> Okay, so Felix. <laughs> okay, well, let me try. Yes. I noticed you picked me up because of my smile, am I right? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's simple. Your question make me your question remind me the one quote I heard it before. If mm -hmm. our life like a book, what title would you like to be? It made me think about because I like to listen to people. Mm -hmm. I love to speak. Definitely, my book should be language. Mm -hmm. In fact, in my life, I, I bought a lot of books about for the language learning. And I tell you what, I did learn Korean language by myself, but it's not very mm -hmm. totally fluent. And also I learned English by myself. Although I'm from Malaysia, Malaysia are my third language. In fact, I'm not good at speaking. English, but I buy a book to learn it by myself. I do believe learning is a long journey. It's a long journey process. It's never ending. The mm -hmm. is important thing is we have self-improvement. That's one of the reasons why I joined in Toastmaster. And I also travel a lot to meet a lot of a new member and make a new friend in Toastmaster, practice my English and sharpen up my communication skill. The most important thing, friends, Confidence. Once you have confidence, you will do everything well. Because remember, there's one quote I would like to share with you before I end my speech. A good speaker will worse at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Good speaker is not natural born, but trained. Opportunities is everywhere. It's uni, uni critters. Don't mm -hmm. leave it behind. Grab it and back to you. Okay, thank you so much. 
Okay, so the last question is, what is your inspiration? What inspires you? Who will be the last one? Okay, can I? Okay, Ure. Mm -hmm. Can I start timer? Yeah, sure, you can start. Mm -hmm. Of course, I believe all of you, every single person here has their, his, or, or, his or her own inspiration, right? Now I'd like to share my own inspiration, which is my own goal, right? Of course, uh, when I was a little girl, I, I had dreamed about, I had also dreamed, dreamed of a, a big and huge things, especially becoming a leader, becoming a president, especially uh, becoming a uh, very first president here in Mongolia, right? But when I get older, when I get, uh, get adult and also add older, my inspiration uh, also changed uh, changed a lot. My own just real and authentic dream, my real authentic dream and goals are becoming uh, becoming more uh, inspirational, uh, inspirational thing for my life, right? And also second thing I can inspire here in my day-to-day -day life is of course my community, my team members here, especially UB Toastmaster Club. I can inspire, I can feel more inspiration from them. They, my, they really push me forward and move me, uh, move, uh, also help me to uh, move forward, right? And those are the two things I get a huge and authentic inspiration in my life. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ure, for attending this session and sharing your wonderful story. And thank you for your attention. So let me okay. stop here. Timers report and then voting. Okay. I'm, I'm ready to introduce my time report to you guys. Yeah, we have a um, five people topic speakers. Yeah, and as you can see, all of our speakers are eligible to to be voted. Yeah, and for example, speaker one two minutes eleven seconds. Speaker two. 1 minute 58 seconds, speaker 3, 1 minute 46 seconds, and speaker 4, 1 minute 48 seconds, speaker 5, 1 minute 55 seconds. And congrats all of the table topic speakers. Thank you. Sorry, am I not qualified? Yusuf, you are qualified. Oh, am I qualified? Yes, you are. Uh, yeah. Now launching polling for the for your favorite table topic speaker, and also you can vote for your own name. I I cannot see who is voting to whom, but I only see the numbers. How many uh, uh, votings are doing, uh, and how many is ongoing? So Beth, Beth, you can click on your name, Beth. <laughs> Beth, I like to vote for your voting. Oh, someone, someone voted for uh, Beth. Now, uh, is okay. Uh, voting, a uh, polling is ending in one second now. <laughs> now voting closed and screen capturing and Bianba knows who is best tabletop speaker. 
and I have to work on while the evaluation session is on. No further ado, now moving on to evaluation session, and they will be led by general evaluator, who is Jinjin. Jin. Hello, Jinjin. Jin. Hi. Over to you. Thank you. Um, it's so wonderful time. Uh, evaluation port is a really important part of our meeting because it helps us what went uh, according to the plan, what went good and what didn't. So it really helps us to uh, enhance our future meeting. So in order to do that, we have uh, evaluators, right? So now let me invite our today's first evaluator, B. Chu, who's evaluating uh, Mr. Sarnay's speech. Let me welcome B. Chu on the screen. Thank you, Jinjing Ji. Thank you and congratulations to our Sana. The three elements you used to present your speech today, Sana, well done. You tell everyone that you are a slow person, which is related exactly to the title, slow me. And secondly, as a result, you tell everyone that because you are a two-way tendencies, for example, you are ex extroverted and often sometimes introverted. Finally, you tell everyone that no matter which character you are or which background, we are come from different person personalities. And you brought out a message that we don't need to follow any other people's uh, perspective, but you are the unit. And according to the purpose of this project, you have made to the requirement with the well-organized organization structures, the opening, body, and conclusions. But most importantly, the, that is, today's assignments is about how you, you have to use intentionally or unintentional body gesture to express and present your speech today. Saina, I noticed that your smiling face that related to your to your presentation, which is very natural and friendly. And, and someone, I, I noticed, um, unlike someone, um, may feel nervous and anxieties, but what the compelling part is when you say, when you say, who is timer, sorry. Uh, when you say, people question you, why tend, you tend to be so slow when you express this kind of doubt and helpless expressions? What I challenge you, Shana, to work on is, my personal opinion is, I think you can use more exaggerated body gesture to express the topic you are aiming at today. That is, for example, that is me. I admitted that I'm just slow, slow down your vocal variety pace and let the audience attention to you. And why do you have to follow other people? Raise your hands to show to the, to the audience and, and make it that I am so unique and I'm so confident. Maybe you can stand up and have a better expressions for your confidence to look today and in conclusion, use your proper body gesture to make your speech more effectively and lively and vigorous. We look forward to your next speech. Back to you, General Evaluator. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Bichu, for your constructive feedback and evaluation. Now, let me invite our speaker. Okay, speakers thank you. Thank you, Bichu, for your constructive feedback and evaluation. Now, let me invite our speaker. Okay, thank you. Okay, can you listen to me? Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Okay. 
<coughs> Thank you. Can I start timer? First. Okay. Missia, dear Missia, I'd like to first and foremost, I'd like to tell you one thing. Your speech is not ubiquitous, meaning your, spe uh, your speech was so unique and special. Of course, even though I didn't listen, uh, I didn't listen to your uh, first speech, uh, I I really hope, I really believe in uh, you. You are improved a lot. You improved a lot, right? And first and foremost, I'd like to uh, point out your body language. That was so amazing and fascinating, right? And the way you see, and also the way you, uh, the way you engage it with our dance, our dances, like far from and like this, your hand gestures and your body language were so uh, interesting and extraordinary, I would say. The next thing is your clarity, your speech clarity, right? You show, uh, you showed two, uh, two different uh, photos and pictures, uh, just photos about your story, your history, right? And, uh, and also, so you just um, told you just this, uh, explain it and express, exp express it, your ideas and thoughts uh, and uh, ideas very brief and also clearly. And the next thing, oh, uh, this is also um, one good, uh, good thing and also aspect, especially, uh, especially public speakers have need to have is co your comfort and self confidence, right? You are so, you just uh, really confidently and comfortably uh, gave your speech. And also, you looked very great at uh, at this point, right? And uh, the next thing is audience awareness, right? You just uh, showed, and also you just uh, greatly recognized how audiences uh, how uh, how audiences just uh, paid attention to you and also your speech, and that was so uh, great. And one improvement, only one aspect you need to work on uh, down the road is just tone of voice, right? Uh, especially uh, you, uh, you kind of uh, spoke and uh, explained your ideas very uh, quick way and fastly. So uh, down the road uh, in the future, I'd like to challenge you. Uh, I'd like to challenge you to speak uh, kind of slow, and then some of the audiences who just um, who want to uh, speak about who want to learn English uh, can uh, can greatly understand your ideas and also your uh, speech topic. Uh, yeah, that's my evaluation. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Madam Uri, for your phenomenal uh, evaluation. Now, let me invite our third speaker's evaluator, Madam Julie, on the screen. Please welcome Julie. Thank you so much, our general evaluator, Jinji. Okay, first of all, good morning, good evening, everyone. The, the objective of our speaker Toastmaster Tungalag is understanding your communication style. So the purpose of the project is for the members to learn about different communication styles and identify her primary style. And also uh, this project also give the purpose, the purpose of this project also for the member to share the impact of her communication style on others. So here's uh, my evaluation for you, Tungalag, Toastmaster Tungalag. Um, okay, you, your timing is four minutes and 33 seconds. You still have a lot of time, about two and a half minutes to deliver your speech. Okay, 
So I like what I like about your speech. I can see that you put a lot of effort when you are preparing your slides, which is very good. I can see the commitment day. I can see your effort day. And your speech are very informative. And it is an inspirational person, this Jimmy Carter, when you shared about this guy, what he, he had done about habitat for humanity. So there, there are actually few room for improvement for you in your to, to elevate your speech to the next level because the purpose of this project is to share your communication style. You share about Jimmy Carter story, which is I like it. Now I know that he is an inspiration, a very inspirational speaker. However, I find that you could have shared what are the type of communication styles. There are four types of communication styles, which is passive, aggressive, assertive, and as well as combination of passive aggressive communication. So I noticed that you have not shared with us what is your communication style and how does the communication style or combination of this communication style that impacted to your life. So I would suggest to you, uh, Toastmaster Tungalak, that perhaps you could have expressed more or share more about your communication style and how does it impact to your, to your life? Because there is no communication style that fit to in every situation. It could be combination of these four. So I hope, uh, overall, I like your presentation. And I look forward to your speech because you have done, I can see your commitment, your effort day. And the only thing that you have to do is to share your communication style and how does it impact it to your life. That's all from me. Oh, well done to you, Toastmaster Tungalak, and back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Julie, for your very constructive evaluation. Now, let me invite our fourth speaker's evaluator, Madam Journalist, on the screen. Well, well, well. First of all, let me con congratulate to Adrian's informational speech. Okay. Um, I want to highlight uh, positive ways to um, present in her speech. And first one is um, your speech met the requirement of project manual. And your project purpose was present a well-researched presentation, right? So I think you done it very well and you tied up um, tied up your speech with your hobby to love traveling, right? Also, you researched about your audience, half of them from Mongolia. And you, you mentioned it Mongolia, and it was very interesting to hear how foreigners see us. And the second good thing is your voice tone. We all can see when you speak, you are so enthusiastic, passionate, and energetic. It's very easy to follow up your well-prepared presentation and you compare the weather, compare the cost. It, it's easy to, we can choose our next travel. And third thing is you were confident and I didn't see any nerves when you speak. And um, of course there's a few suggestions to implement um, some good, um, habit you can implement your next speech. The first one is, please show us your body language as much as possible. Maybe you can stand up when, when you speak. And it's the sign to respect the audience. And the last one is, get the engaged audience more. Maybe you can start your speech with question. And Conclude the leave the open question, etc. 
I think that's two, two suggestions I have. And that, that was very informational and great speech. And I'm sure you feel more confident meeting by meeting. And good luck, your journey to become a good leader and speaker. Thank you. Over to General Evaluator. Thank you, Jargal. Um, thank you for uh, your very constructive and informational uh, evaluation. Now it's time to wrap up our meeting and let's see how it went. So uh, in order uh, to do point that. Of order. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yeah, sure. I must check and voting for the favorite or best uh, evaluator. Right? Sure. Okay. Uh, can you see the my time report? Uh, now it's okay. First of all, I'm so glad to hear your valuable evaluations, and even I also can learn about uh, enormous things from your valuable. Uh, evaluations and as you can see all of the, our evaluators are eligible to um, to be voted okay thank you and launching polling for your favorite uh, evaluator okay. now first evaluator as you see b2 and second evaluator is ure and third evaluator is Julie, and fourth evaluator is Jargar. So vote for your favorite evaluator. And also you can click on your name. Wow, two are competing. Wow. Now I see only one. <laughs> oh, no. So again, it's their tie now. Someone vote for one. So we have 29 uh, participants and people, uh, the members voted is 18. Okay, now I got it. It's time to close. Ending polling. Over to you, general evaluator. Thank you, Toastmaster. Now it's time to uh, wrap up our today's uh, meeting. So uh, in order to do that, let me uh, ask today's account report, please. Account Nicole. Sure, let me share my screen person. Great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my R counter report. The meeting started with the presidential and Toastmaster of the day, JJ. JJ, I counted there were four R's, more than five ums, and repeated words too, and, and happy to, happy to. Bayam Badulam, congratulations, no speech crutches. But who was the, our warm up master, congratulations, no speech crutches. Sanai, the speaker number one, you had one repeated word, you, you. Masi, congratulations, you also had no speech crutches. Tungala, I captured about 14 hours, seven ums. Azwin, you had two repeated words, two, two, on, on. Bichu, congratulations, no speech crutches. Uri, evaluator number two, you had 16 hours, seven ums. Three repeated words, and and light, light, you, you. Julie, I captured one um and one repeated word, also, also. Jagal, evaluator number four, you have 15 ums and one repeated word, well, well. For Grammarian, he hasn't spoken yet, so I have not been able to capture any speech crutches. Dougie, congratulations. You also did not have any speech crutches. 
Our general evaluator, Jin Jin, uh, oh, I already got one hour. <laughs> you had nine hours, six arms. Felix, no speech crutches. Beth, I captured five hours, 11 arms, and three repeated words. I, I, and, and, sometimes, sometimes. Brahma Kumar and Yusuf Chandra, no speech crutches. And myself, one hour. Back to you, General Evaluator. Thank you, Nicole, for your very detailed report. Now, let me invite our today's Grammarian. Grammarian Amran on the screen. Thank you, Madam General Evaluator. <clears throat> yes, my, here's are my report. First of all, I would like to recognize those members who used the word of the day. First was Toastmaster Mashita. Second was Madam Yuri. Third was Brahma Kumar. And second, I would like to report on beautiful words and phrases. Number one, it is impossible to please everyone. Yeah, that's true. By Sarnai. Know yourself by Sarnai. Collective serendipity. Wow, that's just beautiful. By Toastmaster Mashita. I will be greeted with fears of food. Wow, I love that. By Toastmaster Mashita. And another one, Epitome of Serendipity by Toastmaster Mashita too. Life is a journey, not a race. That is by Toastmaster Mashita too. The goal is more important than the role the Toastmaster Tungalak. Elevate your speech in the next level. Forgotten who mentioned that, but I thought that one was beautiful. Now, this is some of the sentences that we can improve. Where's my time with my children? You can say, spend my time on my children. Learning is a long journey. Learning is a long process. Good speaker is learned. Good speaker is trained. My inspirations change a lot. My inspirations is changing. What I, I challenge you, I would like to challenge you, or I challenge you. Can you listen? Can you listen to me? Can you hear me? And I noticed some of the some of the wrong sentences used. If you're talking in the past, use past tense. That's all, Madam General Evaluator, over to you. Thank you, Amran, for your very you. detailed and constructive report. And it really, really helpful for enhance our engagement issues and uh, grammatical mistakes. And now uh, it's my uh, session to evaluate the whole meeting process. Now, first and foremost, and from let's get start from our today's master, Mr. JJ. <laughs> and uh, I really want to uh, thank you uh, to you showing us and demonstrating us how to organize the meeting you're really showing us a great uh, a role for how to serve as an Toastmasters. And we're, uh, there is a, still a bunch of things we can learn from you. And, uh, and also thank you for your um, patience for the missing role takers. And the next uh, person is a uh, warm up master. I really want to uh, thank uh, Batoyang 
for your uh, brand new insights uh, to bringing positivism to our meeting. And uh, the next person, uh, table topic master, Madam Bimba. Uh, thank you for your uh, really interesting questions that can discover people's unique world, which made possible to get to know each other very well. So uh, in terms of uh, my um, assistant, a counter and a grammarian, thank you for your patience and attention for uh, uh, hearing the uh, the whole speakers uh, very patiently and catching up the errors, grammar errors and the uh, unnatural sounds. So, and what I want to uh, highlight one thing is, except Missy, uh, if, I'm, uh, if I remember correctly, except Messi, and uh, there is no one who uh, uses today's word of the day. So please, uh, next time, make sure on the use the word of the day, ubiquitous, right? So uh, uh, as a general, what I tried to say uh, while by today's meeting is three W, three W, which is warm, wonderful, and worthy. The time spent on Toastmasters meeting was never is uh, is always worthy and which is a really great uh, time for uh, expanding our uh, uh, circles and having time with a great uh, like-minded people so i really want to thank you the officers who made today's meeting possible and i'm looking forward to our next joint meeting so uh, it is it was a really uh, great time for uh, hear a real, really warm feedback from all of you guys and uh, all together we had a really wonderful time so uh, so uh, let's it's uh, official um, let me give my control over to you uh, Ma Mr. today's Toastmaster JJ thank you Madam General Evaluator Jin Jin now I need couple of, uh, okay, let's say two minutes for me to uh, make some certificate. So before you, I move on, I'd like to have another voting for the uh, role players. Mm. So launching polling for the uh, your favorite role players. And you can vote for your own role, why not? But uh, unfortunately to me, I cannot vote for myself <laughs> <laughs> because I'm a host. And Biamba neither. <laughs> I'm yes. sorry, Biamba. <laughs> I'd like to vote for you, Biamba. <laughs> but I cannot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, whoa, something is wrong. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay. Before we pass away, I'd like to close this polling earlier. So, ending polling now. Now we know who is best role player. <laughs> uh, Biamba. Uh, would you give me a couple of minutes for mm -hmm. finishing my certificate? And mm -hmm. after that, I will come up with your uh, uh, screen captures with, with once in a lifetime award with your face and then certificate at the same time. Uh, over to you, uh, presiding uh, club officer from Ulaanbaatar uh, uh, Toastmaster Club, Bianba. Okay. So, as uh, today as we had the joint meeting, right? And is there anyone who wants to give the feedback? <laughs> feedback? Um, who? What? Yeah. Yes, Jindy. 
Uh, I have a question. So, okay. uh, what is the speaker talking about it's the meeting date? What's the? Meeting date of this uh, speaker's lounge club. Mm. It's Saturday. Um, start from 10 or 9, JJ. AM, right? Oh, 9 uh, AM, so time. Yeah. Uh, yes, Azrin is correct. Yeah. So in your time zone, uh, Mongolia, Malaysia, Singapore is same. Mm -hmm. so usually every Saturday, 9 AM, we mm -hmm. start our meeting. And prior to uh, 30 minutes prior to the meeting, I open Zoom room. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, don't have uh, something to do in the Saturday morning, you can click on the same mm -hmm. link and then join us. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. So, is messy? <laughs> is how was, how was your speech and just give us the feedback? If I may share, this is actually my first time in a joint meeting for the speaker's launch. Um, because before this, uh, I just joined, I mean, uh, uh, in September like that. So this is the first joint meeting we have in this September until December. So I really mm -hmm. like, love it and enjoy and I pre appreciate having all of you here with mm -hmm. us from all the way from all around the world, especially from Ulaanbaatar and hope to see more of you in the future. So I, I, I love how all role players play their role perfectly, nicely. I mean, all of us do our best so that all of us can enjoy the meeting. I really enjoy it. And I believe all of us too, I can see from the faces here. Thank you, Yamba. Thank you, thank you so much. So, Amra? Yes, Amra Tusha? You mean me? Yes. Uh, do you hear me? Yes. Oh, that's good. I, I tried to answer two times and my microphone didn't work. <laughs> so that's why I couldn't participate in this meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you everybody for this opportunity. And that, that meeting was very special for me and I am very glad to see you guys, especially uh, our uh, our speakers. Uh, I, I enjoyed the speech of uh, our first speaker, Azrin. Thank you for your uh, preparation. That was very uh, thoughtful. And you, you, you have studied our nation and country very profoundly. And thank you. And that was very enjoyable. Uh, and uh, thank you, Azrin. And of mm. course, I, I appreciate our GG uh, for this uh, joint meeting. You you did well and you uh, you organized it very well. And thank you very much. And uh, I I just enjoy this meeting and thank you. And let's keep uh, keep uh, having a, a joint meeting uh, uh, constantly. Mm -hmm. So that's my feedback. And thank you everyone, every participant. Your uh, participation made this uh, meeting very special. Thank you, everybody. Okay, thank you. JJ, are you done? Yes, I'm done. I'm okay. ready. I'm going to share my screen and uh, winners, please uh, make some noise so that my Zoom recognize you. So sharing my screen here and here. Oh, no, this should be smaller. OK. Now full screen and first, I'd like to call best speaker today, who is Masi. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh oh, <laughs> I mistakenly clicked one more. So Masi, 
Hello. Hello. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Give me your smile. One, two, three. Got you. <laughs> now posting it to our Kakao Talk chat room. And then I'll post it to the Facebook mm -hmm. later on. DTMJJ. Yes, ma'am. Um, I, I think there's the best mashi is the best prepared speech, right? Correct. Yeah, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, Sorry. yes, thank you, Julie. I'm going to okay. correct this one. <laughs> Brahma Kumar, be ready. Next is you. Uh, Julie, if it is not you, I, I, I'll I have to make a big co correction. Now, Ma Masi, again, please. Okay, all right, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for this interruption, but uh, thank you for your patience. Give me your smile. Right. One, two, three. Got you. Thank you. Okay. This will go. And again, posting new one. All right. Moving on. Brahma Kumar. Hello. First table topic speaker. Give me your smile. <laughs> One, two, three. Got you. Thank you. Thank you for coming from joining from India. <laughs> oh, I'm from Singapore. Singapore. Now best evaluator, Julie. Woo. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Give me a smile. One, two, three. Got you. Thank you. And posting it here and best role player is me <laughs> i'll have to edit myself later on <laughs> thank you everyone for voting for me <laughs> and this concludes our meeting and once again i'd like to call our uh, UB Toastmaster Club president uh, regarding her uh, uh, impression or something to comment. Mm -hmm. Yamba. Okay, and first of all, thank you so much for accepting my suggest and jo uh, having the joint meeting in JJ. And in this, and in the end, also, the sorry for the, some problems like it is technical and it's taking place the road takers and it's our mistake and I'm really sorry for these mistakes and today as we are uh, including me and learn from each other right uh, for example is when Messi presented uh, her speech and I chatted here and how I changed my background like you and she taught me and how I use this background like here and and I heard a lot of it's a great stories and learn from you and JJ and Malaysia and India and some some Toastmasters members and yeah it's so great family and today is very wonderful day for me and I I can really truly enjoy this joint meeting and thank you. Uh, uh, thank you for representing the, the Speakers Lounge Club. I thank you, Biamba, for suggesting this joint meeting and making this uh, joint meeting uh, event happening. And again, thank you everyone for co-creating this interaction. And we'll see you again. And this Toastmaster is really an international community and I love it. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. With this, wait, wait, can, you, can you take a photo shot? Photo shot. Everybody turn on the camera. Say again. Can you take a photo? Photo of everyone. Uh, 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 photo is already taken, and okay. I'll have to edit you. Uh, I'll have to include you in the in the picture. And with that, uh, let's open the meeting. Bang, bang, bang. Yes, Felix.
I'm, I'm sorry, can I say some words to you all? Of course, go ahead. Okay. Uh, it's my first time to join your meeting and actually it's because of I heard about the Mongolian club. It's very typical to attend your club. I'm a Toastmaster member and I've been visiting the, around the world. Mm. Except Mongolia, it's very hard oh. to meet it. So I'm very feel happy to meet ah. my new friend. And well, I also would like to promote my club. If you are free, please welcome to join in my club meeting in Malaysia. Oh. I will share in the chat. I welcome all my mm -hmm. friends around the world. Yes, Thanks. please. No, thank you. So Mongo yeah, Mongolia club is recognized and realized to the international community. Even though Richard Epek visited uh, something. Jose, you'd like to comment something, Jose? Thank you, JJ, a wonderful meeting. I was very excited to be part of this meeting, especially because I never attended a meeting from a club in Mongolia. So that was very exciting. And you guys always do a great job, the speakers and the participants, excellent. So all the best for future meetings and I hope to be back. Thank you, JJ. Yeah, Jose is joining us from the States. <laughs> yes, USA. And he, he's a, a, let's say he's a native speaker. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good. Let's say I'm pretty good. Yeah, I make yeah. mistakes. <laughs> yes. uh, so it's free to free for you to stay. Uh, and then uh, we have chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's uh, officially agenda meeting and we can have a uh, small chat. And Jayeon, uh, Jayeon, Jayeon Jung, another JJ. <laughs> Jayeon. I, I see you're unmuted. Hello, Jayon. Okay, forget it. <laughs> so uh, for the, the Speakers Lounge Club members, uh, I'm going to launch uh, 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 an agenda for next week later and uh, ask for the world takers. And Beth, Beth is gone, uh, yeah. She's a working mom and she had to feed uh, her children. <laughs> okay, so uh, silence getting. <laughs> Jayon, Jayon, hello, Jayon. You are back. Jayon, how do you feel? Jayon. Uh, tomorrow we'll see you. I'll see you uh, there in the tem in the temple, <laughs> and I have to ask you physically. Now, uh, silence getting more weird. Then uh, let us finish this meeting, and we'll see you next week. And hold on a uh, second. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, yeah, I have a say. I have a question. So, can anybody put in the link? of the Ulaanbaatar club on chat so I can take a peek at it as well. I want to put my information there for my chat, my club as well, so you guys can visit oh, anytime please. you would like to. Yeah. Just one second. I know some of you asked for it, so I'm going to. Where is your club? Uh... It's in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. And the name, yes. Yeah. And I found that Jose was the uh, table topic uh, speak contest winner in his district. <laughs> How did you know that, JJ? <laughs> uh, uh, Aziza, wow. Aziza let me know before. Uh, yeah. And That's she, pretty cool. she, she was searching for you and she found uh, both oh. some of your picture there. Uh, <laughs> you were wearing a, a necktie and jacket. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. right. <laughs> so. Okay, I got it. And I put the Facebook link for our club. So feel free to pop in anytime. Sure, I know sure. the the hours are a little bit off because we meet Mondays at noon. So it's probably your 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Wow. <laughs> so whenever. Uh, Jose, if yeah. you have this kind of Star Wars uh, uh, theme uh, meeting, then I'll be there. <laughs> Hey, that sounds like a good idea. We can make it work, JJ. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, and I'll be I'll be bringing my mentor. <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Sounds From good. the dark side. Yes. Okay.
Thank you very much. I enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. I hope to see you guys in the future as well. Yes. How do you say goodbye in Mongolian? Bye. And you and I remember that UB Club was meeting in Saturday afternoon, is it correct? Yes. And you're going to have another we, meeting? We, we have the physical meeting. Yeah, not oh. online, yes. Wow, then this is this is going to be a last online meeting for you. Uh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> for then this no year, more, I guess. No more Zoom ID for uh, you. Know? Yeah, it's possible maybe next year we will discuss about it, okay? And oh. also if you have more the you know more the network with other the uh, online Toastmaster Club meeting, we will oh. you know, organize it on Zoom again. Yes, it's oh. possible. I put at least the one time in a month, uh, which we have some oh, limit. And, uh, yeah. yeah. And and how, how's the COVID pandemic situation there in uh, Ulaanbaatar? Uh, it's 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 uh, decreasing day by day, so it's not oh. a big deal for us so far. Uh, so nowadays the now the new uh, version of this COVID-19 which we call the Omicron oh. it is uh, increasing around the world so we, we won't worry about it our government is government oh. building is working as well that's why it's not a big deal for us yeah we, oh. we can protect us and also we have um, our Mongolian populations more than 60 percent Oh. I've got uh, two two dozens of the vaccine. Right. We have vaccinated more than two times, most of oh. us. That's why it's not a big deal for us you know, so far. Yeah. Oh. Oh, look at you. In, in Korea, the restriction was uh, getting more uh, harder. And, I see. Yeah, December, uh, Korean government is putting more pressure <laughs> Yeah, also our government promised us that they want to uh, uh, lock down again. Uh, oh. Yes, because the situation is getting better day by day than year, oh. it's month by month. And that's why we will, you know, uh, we will go outside without any, you know, <coughs> uh, without any, you know, ban, ban or something else. Like, I don't know how to say it. Like, oh. uh, uh, but we have some rules to if we really want to have to go out so we should wear some mask and oh. and in public cafes on some place we should wear and we have to uh, stay away from uh, from the people of um, one more than one, one to two meter right oh. uh, and sit down yeah nah. that's it so thank you uh, mr jg can i now be the you know uh, co-host uh, because uh, it's uh, very important for me. <laughs> uh, also, can we now uh, the stop the live? It's oh, right, done. Right, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You're stopping. <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. I, I forgot to stop the <laughs> recording and yeah, uh, yes. recording stop now. Uh, also, uh, yeah. Also